swinging the deal at the moment. And we see Cracklan time and time again just not managing to pull it off against Epsilon. Epsilon definitely the powerhouse. is the really good proper team in Europe and the rest of them kind of training behind as Epsilon now wins the first map. And Esports having Matt Katz Team Fortress 2 Challenge with 4-1 to one, um, here on CP Gollywash. And so we're going to move on to Granary. Um, well, yeah, this is pretty much it for Vanilla TV. As uh, the second map is going to come up, it's going to be difficult for Cracklan, that to say the least. But we'll go into that here in just a second. Please stay tuned. Going to go for a little bit of an outbreak and everything like that. But after that, we'll be right back here. Vanilla TV with Team Fortress 2 Action. Just want to, I don't know if we're on abs or anything. I just want to quickly say the STV okay. is changing with all of those. Um, I believe they are setting up an STV. Nox has been asking. Um, I'm pretty sure if you've been watching the SCB, yeah. you know it. So they are changing. We have got the details, and hopefully this, we should be changing to it now. So no delays, unlike the last time. So... If we can just stay on the Source TV, by the but way. Yeah. If you're on Source TV, you can all just stay. Uh, it should automatically change. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Vanilla TV. As uh, we're going to have the second map coming up right now for the Esports Heaven Matt Cats Team Fortress 2 Challenge. As uh, here at the Team Fortress 2 Premier Medium of coverage coming out for competitive Team Fortress 2. We have the top two teams in Europe at the moment. That's pretty much how we can say it. Cracklan and Epsilon, of which Epsilon is the first to actually won... Um, they won the first map of this game, but they also won the ETF 12 Grand Final. So Epsilon, undoubtedly the best team at the moment. But Cracklan here to stay, and at least they're going to stick around for this game. As we have the second map now coming up here, which is going to be CP Granary. Good oldie. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, just a map that we've seen countless and countless and countless of times, Scully. But to be honest, every time I thought this map was going to leave the map pool, it just came back. And we're still playing it, so it's cool. It's the drama. It's the drama of how much, how much like you know all the choke points, how how fast paced it is. There are so many opportunities for back caps on this map. My God, when I have played it, I kid you not, I am so paranoid. Yeah, but that's because you're awful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You know what I mean, though. <laughs> you know. I'd love to see you get. I'd love to see you get wound up about. Oh back god! Up. The amount of times I've played medic on this map, I got a scout in my ass. Like it's. We're, uh, let okay. We're both awful. There you go. Let's, there we go. We, we're both we, awful. We figured it out. I mean, but no. Either way, um, this map is just. It's a staple tier two, really. I mean, bad. Atlantis is like the one that everyone loves watching. This surely has to be that one which gives you the most entertainment or the most excitement. Because anything can happen. It's just so. There are only like two ways in every point and two ways out. Yeah, you know, but there's okay, there's three, but you get what I'm trying to say. There's a left and a right, and that's basically all it's gonna be. 
and so many back capping opportunities that have gone over. So it's a, it's a small map and it's a linear map. It's a straight map. And there's no bends, there's no curves. You just go in a forward line. You just press W, just move your mouse a little bit and just let it fly, baby. <laughs> Now this is, um, like, we watched a demo earlier, um, over at my stream, we did demo analysis, uh, earlier this evening. Skelly and myself, we looked at, um, we actually looked at the, the previous Grand Week game from last week during the ETF 12 Grand Finals, both these teams played together, and Epsilon won, 6-1, to one, uh, quite convincingly, should I say, uh, up until about 2-1, 3-1, it was reasonably even, Cracklin had their options, everything was cool, and then obviously Epsilon just started the train again, and they just kept going, kept going, never stopped anymore, uh, until it was actually 6-1. There are a couple of things that we noticed there, we'll get, out, we'll get over that in uh, in just a second, but one of the things that, I, that we really noticed was that Cracklin was having a very, very difficult way... Um, ...of just holding that flank down. Like, you mentioned it during Gullywatch a couple of times, They're, they really struggled holding that flank. Sam... Uh, Samzy, who's called Don't Stop Something, I don't exactly know, I can see it on my HUD. Don't stop um, believing. I hate that song, but it's Sam, um, Sam, Ips, and Tweak together had a very, very difficult, um, had a very difficult time holding that flank against Mike, against Shocky, against Walters, the sort of three powerhouses coming out on the flank for Epsilon. And we really saw that, that Crackclan was just struggling. Abrabol got taken down by scouts plenty of times, and Nox was fine all game long. Yeah, I mean, we said it as well because we talked about it in depth. That it's also, I think it's also down to Tivik. I mean, like... Tivik, uh, this is Tweak, Tivik, Tivik, I don't know how you want to say it. T, V, I, Q, whatever the hell you want to say it. I say it differently to everybody, but that doesn't matter. He's a double-edged sword on this map, because his his play is fantastic. But the issue is, then, that also leads to the fact that it may leave Sam on his own to cover a flank. And on this type of map, that's not a good thing. So, he will play on the flank, Sam will die on the flank. No offense to Sam, because he'd be outnumbered. He will die on the flank, and then that just leaves a completely open line for Epsilon Scouts, maybe a soldier, just to come on and just get behind them. And we saw it numerous of times when we were watching last week's game. And it's really, it's just really bad to see. <laughs> Another thing we also saw, which I'd like to point out as well, is the lack of getting to Numlock on the first point. What we're going to see, the staple of Crack Clan's mid is seeing... Both their scouts on the top balcony, firing p their pistols, just just doing long range shooting, mm -hmm. just doing some damage. While we see Epsilon, one scout's going to go top with, you know, probably Numlock some type of Numlock's on the floor. One scout will still go top, and there'll be a scout bombing straight in to Red Shock, which they can't have because if you lose your demo man on this point, well, if you lose your demo man any time on him, any mid fight on any map. You're not gonna win. Nine times out of ten, you're not yeah. gonna win. No, we're gonna we're gonna have to wait and see. From from the stats that we looked at as well, is that Red Shock was a was playing a very very good game. He seems to be feeling Granary very much, so he's gonna be one of the guys for Crackland to watch. Um, while on Epsilon side, Nomalix actually did not have a good game last week whatsoever. He got carried massively on this map by Mike, who played unbelievably well. And uh, actually, Nomalix, who ended up doing the exact same thing. Uh, no, not Nomalix, sorry, Gear. Um, yeah. Completely messed that up, sorry. But Gear played actually really, really well uh, at the same time. And it seems like both... Uh, both of these soldiers for Epsilon, they seem to know exactly how to play this map, and they are going to be the players to watch. And in what way are is Epsilon going to try and shut down uh, Red Shock? Because I feel if Epsilon can limit Red Shock's movement, they've won the game already, hundred percent. Well, um, if, Re if Red what? Shock is able to free roam, what, did I not say that correctly? Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, no, sorry. It sounded like you were saying you were saying Red Shock part of Epsilon. They got to take down Red Shock, but no, you're saying Epsilon's got to take down Red Shock. I'm if, you. If Epsilon can restrain Red Shock from free there movement go. across the map, then I think they've won the game already, hundred percent. But and that's but, what they but, did but, last time. That's well, not really. Like Red Shock well, actually. They did. What was Red Shock like? Twenty five, thirteen. I don't call that restricting space whatsoever. Red Shock yeah, had a very was, good game. He died. He died basically on every mid. That's true. That's true. Because they were getting to him all the time. Yeah. No, but no, obviously, like, Red Shock is going to be a big factor in whether or not Epsilon is going to win or not. Which sounds weird, because he's on the opposite team. 
Um, well, on the Epsilon side, really, like, the scouts, Shocky and Walter's always good. There's no, even if they have a bad game, they're good, so that's just a standard factor. But whether or not Gear and no uh, Gear and Mike, because Nox used to play Soldier, and this is stuck in my head, whether or not Gear and Mike have a very good game, that's going to depend whether or not they're going to come out on top. And it's going to be very important for Epsilon to have those two Soldiers playing well. And in all honesty, though, let's be fair about Crack Clan. If Defeat goes Sniper or Spy a couple of times and get those picks, that could turn games around. So we're going to have to pay attention to that. Overdo it. It, yeah, like he doesn't overdo so, it like he did in the ETF 2L final. So, what I'm going to do right now, because we are waiting for them to look ready up, I am going to ask STV, IRC, we do have IRC by the way, and Twitch chat. I'd like to know what you guys think is going to happen in this game. Who do you think is going to win? Just let me know. Do you think Crack Clan's going to take it to a third map? Do you think Epsilon's going to win this and win the final? Let us know. Please let us know on Twitch chat or STV or IRC. Anyway, really. While they do that, <laughs> who do you think is going to do it, Pledge? Uh, like, obviously I'm gonna have to go for Epsilon, because they're better, and last week they won 6-1, to one. but, 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 I don't think it's gonna be a 6-1 to one like last week, I actually think that Crackline have figured it out, and they're like, yeah, we might lose, but we can at least, um, just put in our brain and be like, how are we gonna beat these guys? I think, I think, ah, 5-2, 5-2. Yeah, 5-5, five, five, five. Ish. I'd say fight three. I mean, it's going to be a close one. It could be a six. It's going to be well. a close one. It could be a six two. I, I'd rather go for six two than than five three. I, I think it's it's still going to be quite large because the way we saw Epsilon play when we looked at it earlier, uh, it's just Epsilon. They seem so unbelievably coordinated. Um, how is Cracklin going to deal with that garage push onto second? Cracklin didn't seem to have an answer to that whatsoever when we looked at the faults from last week's game, and they're going to have to figure it out. That's just really the way it is, and um, yeah, Crackline is going to be difficult. Just going to have their hands full, and Epsilon, just gonna, if they do the exact same thing, I'm sure they win. But it's all really going to depend how are the star players from Crackline going to work this out, and how is Crackline in general going to step up with regards to last week's game, where they got pretty much mauled in the second half of the game. Time for them to man up. Time for them to man up. Yeah. Just for everyone who wants to know, it's time really just to do the most, the most, something that should be stuck in my head now, but it never is. For the new people, we are Vanilla TV. We do TF2. That's what we do. The premium site for TF2 coverage in Europe. We have a website, VanillaTF2.org. That's a fantastic one to find. We have a Facebook now, Facebook.com forward slash Vanilla TV org. A YouTube where I, in 24 hours all these spots go on. Vanilla TV org. Again, that's on, yeah, basically. Someone in Twitch chat is also putting these on the links for you so you can see it. Uh, I have mentioned the Twitter, at Vanilla TV. All those places. Don't forget to click the lovely share button if you'd like to see more. We should be doing some more coverage sooner this week and probably and next weekend all throughout the year. Because there's still like three, three weeks left on it. You can follow this bloody lovely guy at Patrick Ledge on Twitter. You can follow myself at ScullyVTV. You can follow the sexy streamer guy tonight. A massive shout out. I want to hear a massive shout out to our lovely camera guy, comedian. Best he does a great in job. TF2. He does a fantastic job. You guys just have no idea how much he does. He's a wonderful guy. You can follow him on Twitter as well, at ComedianTF2. I think I've done all the links, and I've done that in such a way I cannot believe I've done it so smoothly. I, I, I think you should, you should plug my stream. You, yo, you have a stream, don't you? I'm pretty <laughs> sure that that's like where I was working on today. Like, yeah, you were there. Like Twitch.tv forward slash Z Z E pledge. Yeah. No, it's 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 Z H E pledge. Oh. So it's basically the pledge, but with a Z instead of a T at the start. Because the pledge, Patrick Ledge, pledge the underscore pledge, and well, everything else was already taken, so I kind of had to. Uh, but yeah, either way, uh, this game is going to start here in just a second. Epsilon, the huge favourites to win, uh, won every single map in ETF-12 this season. Hasn't lost a game for the past four months or so, ever since I-46. And now, Cracklan, the attackers, the, the, the people who just are going to assault Epsilon here. And Epsilon is like, well, we'll go Crit Creek first round. Let's do this. Are they? Wow, yeah, they are going crit creep. That is really interesting. Red Shock, once again, faster than Numlock, but that's probably because Numlock's going up top. He isn't yet, but wow, what's happened to Red Shock? Is he holding back for, just for the crit? No, there he is finally. Again, the mic here. Gears on the side again. They're taking down Walter straight away. Gotta keep Red Shock alive. Red Shock's been disowned. He's gonna lose Red Shock. Red Shock slurps away. Brilliant play, but he doesn't get taken out from Gear. 
Admire will get taken down in that exchange. So here comes the crit. Crit only gets Mike gets gets uh he gets ifs. They're not gonna be having anybody else at the moment. Surely he's got one more rocket left in him. Nox goes down from Sam. And that's a wipe! Yes, that's a wipe because Walter has just spawned. Yep. Crack Clan have found it, like, maybe because of the Crit Creek. I don't know. You, you know what the something. thing is? You know what the thing is about Crit Creek? When you use it, teams usually go very defensive and play safe. Well, it, it just goes into their minds. It's like, we have Crit Creek, we have to play. No! You just. Play your regular game and then with crits instead of Uber. You saw Epsilon actually doing the exact same. Playing it very easy and we can see the standard response. Sniper coming out. Usually it's a sniper or a spy coming out if you have a huge disadvantage. Exactly what's happening. And Admirable help taking that many gun right now. They're gonna stand on that right hand side door. Have they seen Shocky? I'm quite sure they have. They've got to have heard it. The dot has been around. I don't know if, he's lo uh, if he uh, threw out a shot just yet, but we'll see. As uh, everyone from Crackland kind of gathering here around, is are they going to decide on left? It looks like they are going to decide on left. It should be a dot push, but they're already late. Like seriously, they're going to go garage now as well. They're late. Yeah, well they've lost gear. That's that's that push now because gear's gone down. They managed to take down gear. Where is Redshot going? Well, there's a bit of a, a bit of a communication breakdown right now. You have a soldier going lower, and they've all pulled out. That's brilliant by Metzlon. They've all pulled out just to make sure to say to preserve any Uber advantage. And really crack planning to go on this and they're not going on this. Uber advantage is now equal to be Uber versus Uber. Here comes Crack Clan finally, and they're gonna be both thrown into the air. Are they gonna take down anything there? Knox Knox is not finally <laughs> <knocks, laughs> in the air! Oh dear god, what happened there? Someone's flying. Jesus, that's right now we can see Epsilon actually moving into the second point. Mike goes down immediately. Great work actually coming out from Crackland. Three picks already. Epsilon's gonna have to watch out, but they lose three. They're gonna lose four as well as Nox right now getting caught with his pants down. Both scouts as well. Crackland, if they just push on this, it's gonna be a one to nil right now here yeah, for Epsilon. Here they go. Uh, for They're all Excuse me. That was all. Well, that was just brilliant play, really. They're in great position in second. The mid, granted, there was Crits Creek. I thought was a lot better than what we saw last week. They've definitely done their homework. Do you think they were watching earlier? It's uh, <laughs> they probably they probably would have said so. Our analysis probably wouldn't have been spot on anyway. We're we're just a bunch of scrubs just saying what we see. But um, there's no crit creep whatsoever right now. As we can see, both teams going regular Uber. And the thing is, what I saw last, what I saw last. Oh, Redshock actually tried to jump there, but he got denied. His sticky got blown away by the enemy demo man. So we can see Redshock now moving forward, and Cracklin is loads more aggressive than they were last week. Jesus, this is really aggressive, and the health is low. Minimus is on 4 HP. Surely not. And look, Redshock's the first one to go down. And Fireball goes down. Oh, wow. They were really aggressive, but then they were like, now what? And they had no health. That is a. <laughs> that, 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 that probably was what happened. They had that in the bag, and then it was almost just like, yeah, we've done it. Now what do we do? Now what? That was... I kind of, no one from Epsilon died either to that aggression. That was actually really impressive. The, the way they managed to heal that perfectly and stay alive at the exact same time. And now, Tweek has to go sniper. He does. Thanks for meeting my <laughs> meeting my expectations. Don't matter, As we it? can see, is that Uber? Uber has already been popped off. There's no way in hell that Crackland's going to hold this. If they do, I'll eat my hat, which is funny. But Never mind, I don't have to explain that. that that's going to be too <laughs> stupid if they do. And as Epsilon's just going to pick up this point, one to one. And we're back to square. Well, what? I knew that would happen when, with Tivik as sniper. Because I knew that they were, I knew that Epsilon would Uber before they got around the corner. That was like. The, the amount of times Nox has already died, like he doesn't want to take that risk. Yeah, anymore. exactly. Like, they're, they're just going to say, screw it. Now, is that admirable on Crits now? So he's got a fast. No, it's Medigun. It's just Nox has not been healing faster. See what happens again. Red shot faster again. What? I've, I've always known that. It's really interesting. Hey, it's got behind Red shot straight away. Oh, wow. They all picked up Shocky. And he gets get, get thrilled down to the floor. They've got out. They pulled out straight away. And that's just it, really. One of the main rules of a mid fight. If you lose your demo man within the first 10 seconds, run. Run away. Yeah. Just get the hell out of there. There's nothing for you to gain anymore. And keep your medic alive. That's exactly what they do. Um, now, the question is, though, and, and, and a lot of people seem to be disagreeing with me here. Do you defend or do you not? And it seems like Blue Crackland's tactic. like, yeah, we are. But Crackland is going to go behind, um, or uh, Epsilon's going to go behind. Now they drop out of, though. There's a couple of stickies there. No, there's not, actually. Excuse me. It was just Soldier rockets. Behind. As, uh, where, where, where is Ips? Yeah. Did he go drop all? 
Uh, no, gear, gear, no, oh, sorry, right. it was that Zepson, so I do apologize. Yeah. No, it was that, that, it was gear behind on top. Still up there, really taking down TV. TV can't really win that fight. I don't know why he's gone in. Surely he won't lose another one. Gear goes down. There's a scout there as well. Shocky goes down. Walters goes down. Both scouts are down. Fred's on. Only TV is down. Four crack line. And they are able to hold this right now. They're still fighting. Where is Gear? Fight. Mike gets taken down. Where is Gear? Oh, Gear's back there. He went through drop down. Wow, and that was really confusing because they were out of position and held on to that. That, that was yeah. all over the place. I have no idea how that worked out. Um, you can analyze that all you want, but it was just stupid. <laughs> Crack Clan held on. Um, so it's perfectly fine. Crack Clan's not going to mind this whatsoever. And now you got the. Like we spoke about this earlier, didn't we? If Epsilon is 100% versus 100%, they hate pushing. So what are they going to do? They're going to push because everyone loves doing stuff no one expects. And they Uber in one soldier. They're going to run out the other side. There's going to be loads of stickies. Are they going to be in time? Yes, they are. Just barely. Uh, but they are going to be in time, and now you get this sort of weird scenario where I'm guessing Epsilon's going to full force left hand side. Is that what they're going to do? It looks like they want to. And yeah, they. No, no, yeah, no, no, it looks like they're going to do going it. Going garage because look, look who's dead. Tvix dead. Look, a scout's gone behind already. Scout's gone to the flank. They picked up the scout. That's a good. That's good. But they're letting Numlock walk straight in. Numlock's just walked straight in uncontested. Everybody of Crack Clown ran away to one Numlock. He's like Clint Eastwood walking through the, the, the scene in, in in the Good, the Bad, the Ugly, whatever film it was. Like, he just let them walk straight over them. That is really surprising. And I feel that this could be a, an Epsilon... Crackland um, has not been building again. If and all, look, it's the, right uh... on the top here, this is the bread and butter of Epsilon going up top. They move it down the soldier, and it's Mike, and he does take down Red Shock. He does take down Amiable. We'll also take down Amiable, I'm sorry. And that is the bread and butter play of Crack of Epsilon. When they've got Uber and they're pushing into Granary, they will go through they will go through the garage and go off top because no one has a counter for it. We did, we did Crack Clan first um first a TOR, do you remember? A couple of weeks yeah. ago for the ETF twelve quarterfinals. A couple of weeks ago we did Crack Clan first TOR and I said to you, at some point enemy teams are gonna realize Crack Clan is not building as efficient as you are, and they're gonna punish them for it. Right there, Nox, they pushed on the dot, Epsilon, and our rubble was 91% and they ended up dying. If he had been building, if everything hadn't been perfect, Crack Clan would have had Uber there and he would have been able to hold on. They didn't, they got, they got smashed completely. Again, look, the scout, look, both scouts now, for the first time in a while, we've seen a scout on the floor for Crack Clan because they know Shocky is going to exploit that. And TV does take down Shocky. Now what's gonna happen here? Numlock does take down if that's Sam, he does take down Sam. Gear goes down. The aggression from Epsilon has not been working, and Crackland have got their shots up. They have got everything up, and I can't believe it's only 2-1 right now, and they are gonna hold this, they wanna go back in, do they? Okay, Epsilon wanna go back in! And they just wanna go back in, just bait a few bits, not gonna happen, because that was just set up for Numlock. Numlock goes down and Crackland didn't well well well, weren't really aggressive. And they still get the better out of that because of just being playing a little bit past them. And that's something I mentioned earlier. They've got to know when ah. just to hold. Epsilon is insane. Scully, I've never seen a team do this. Uh, push what? middle. Are they? Yeah, they are pushing. See, I, I wasn't. I was sure. Were they stuck behind? No, they actually just pushed middle. I don't know why they did it. They had two players against five for Cracklan, but they ended up pushing. You know why? Because they want to get the Ubers out of the way. They want to get rid of this whole thing with Ubers. They don't want to fight that way. They want to fight mono backup. versus mono immediately in their faces. Maybe the backup was their plan all along. It looks like Walters is going to win the duel with Tafik, but he's going to lose the second duel that comes out. So Nox has the time to build that Uber and obviously also has the time to let Mike get back up here. And look look how aggressive Epsilon is. You don't, you don't see anyone do this. Look at the Ubers, more than just the aggression, look at the Ubers, Walters, is that the flank completely, the flank is completely down, oh, Red Shock had a sticky trap, I like that, that's a little bit sneaky, a little bit of a sticky trap there, get taken down, Nox goes huge though, just take down Mini Moose, so they get taken another one down, I have Marvel and TVX in a, oh it's Marvel and Red Shock in a rock and a hard place, that Marvel only had 69%, and Nox is just going to use that Uber just really again, to just get rid of that Uber advantage and just to take down a Marble. And look, this is that Red Shock still there? Red Shock is trying to get out. He does not get out, but uh, oh, Sam's in there. This is really weird because when one dies, another one follows with them, which is really, I don't know if it's confusing or something because one dies, another one dies. In places that we don't really see, there's not a lot of 
cohesion at the moment, yeah, if that's dude, the word. Dude, it, it all comes back to Epsilon forcing, Ubering in to a five-man crackline with Uber with just two players. It all comes back to that. They got the Ubers out of the way, and that was their plan. They love being aggressive. They love just saying, hey, we're better. Oh, we don't oh, care what you do. That's a shot on walls. It doesn't oh, matter, he Scully. Oh, had knocks. <laughs> he was just a, he was a millisecond away from not. I didn't see that, but he got Walters in the meantime, so I guess that's pretty good. But, 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 um, Epsilon just loves playing without Ubers. Like, now they have an Uber, now they know Admirable doesn't. Yeah, we'll play with Uber, that's fine, that's cool. As Admirable 97%, <laughs> he's gonna have it fairly early time, but I don't think it's enough, though, at all. I think it's just mainly just to hold, and they're gonna block this. Oh my god, they're gonna block this. They're gonna block this despite there's gonna be people upstairs. Look, no, not to put them high in the sky. And he is actually going to deny them. Numlock gets taken down though. That's a good play, but they just need, uh, they need... They need to make a decision right now. And they've made their decision. Is it the right one? They're going to hold forward. They're going to try and cap. And I think it's a safe decision because no one else is there. They need to just hold on to this. They're not hold on to this. Need to just, just sneak on it. They do sneak on it. And now surely they must go back. But they do take much. And they're not, the health is low, but the health is low for both teams at the moment. There is a scout behind them. Shockey's taken down. They have got the advantage right now, and they will look to push on to this, surely. With four versus six, they will look to this, and Admirable has 95% compared to Nox's 80. So would they dot push? I don't think it'll be a dot push, it may be a free cap. No, they're, taking there, it yeah. easy. they're taking it easy. Uh, so we can see Walters and Ips trading frags around, as uh, we can see. Oh, is he going to get taken down? Oh, great, Uber there from Admirable. Saving his player there in mid-air, as right now he has to save Red Shock. But again, there's no multi here whatsoever from Epsilon. So it, it, uh, it should have theoretically given them an advantage, but Nox was out of position. The soldiers got juggled away, and Crack Clan finally, finally, finally catches a break from the Epsilon train that has been raging on for the past 5 or 10 minutes or so. And now we can see they might be able to turn this around. 45% up what against the 10% oh. of Nox. Nox under... Uh, is he under attack or not? No, he's just all the way back to spawn. As uh, I did see his health go back up for at least a little bit. Okay. I can see Clan should be having an easy time capping it. Well, you say that, they just lost should Richie Tebic. Should be, yeah. Should, shoulda, woulda, coulda. They just completely lost that to him. Just great spam and again, a bit too much aggressiveness there. And they, uh, sure, they've got to protect that Marble right now, 94%. All three of them get out? No way. No, Ips doesn't get out. That's the bad thing. All he's got left is Sam. Scout is going to chase him. Walters makes the fourth. Brilliant play from Walters. And Sam goes down because that Marble's not flashed it. A Marble looks around, got no one to heal. And are they going to block this? They're going to try and go high and try and block this with the Scout and Red Shot. Red Shot gets taken out of the Soldier. Mike takes down Red Shot. They are holding this as good as they can. Just one scout left, and it's Sam, and Sam gets taken down. It's TV guy, I apologize. Gets taken down, and they were caught between a rock and a hard place right there, and it did not work for them. No, it really seems like Epsilon right now is just better. Plain, plain, very simple, better. As uh, their coordination, their teamwork, their focus seem to be slightly edging Crack Clans every single time. They lose less players by their own. They play more as a team and they catch players whenever they're available to them. And right now, from suddenly a prime position for Crack Clan with an uber advantage on the second point of Epsilon, within a couple of seconds, Epsilon took it back and we have a 3-1 to -one scoreline in favor of the Reds here. As, uh, to be honest, Crackland, they're gonna have to step it up. They've won three of these four middles. Serious. Wow. They've won three of these four middles. If they keep on going, I think they're gonna be fine, but they need to win this middle. Look at the time. They need to win this cap very, very much. Mo Look at the time. <laughs> Epsilon is about to kick it into the seventh gear. Whatever gear they use right now. But look how aggressive the scouts are for Epsilon right now. That just proves it. Look how so did no, no, I might will stay alive somehow. A Marble finally goes down. How did a Marble try to serve away from one soldier and get caught into another? And surely they've got this. This is chaos in right now. Nox stays up and it's going to be three versus three. Now it's two versus three. What can Crack Clan do? Well, they can't do absolutely anything right now. They've got no one up whatsoever that can stop them. They do take down Red Shock and it's just going to be Sam left. And that's a battle. You've just got to run away from Sam. I mean, you're on 25, but you're just going to run away, man. Yeah, the, wow. the map, the map was, um, the map, sorry, the middle wasn't actually too bad whatsoever, but the fact that they didn't manage to take down Nox, or at least force this Uber at, very, at the very end, is really a problem, because right now you can see, again, the pick clauses have to come out. This is the first time Tavika's actually gone spy on this map, so he's not overdoing it, uh, oh, to touch on Scully's oh point earlier. He's got, he's got, what can he do here, though? Not much he can do. 
Mike is just looking. Oh, no, no, he's even spotted. He's... What the? I'm just looking at teaming and Numlock and another scout's been looking at him and done nothing. No, Nox's oh, killing no, him! He's been healed! He's been healed! He's... He's like, so like good! What? <laughs> What's bait? What's bait? No! Yeah! That was brilliant play perfect. For I love you, my friend. That was brilliant. And look, look at them looking for him. They're paranoid right now. Oh, they found him because he's declined. But wow. If that's well, a bait, I okay, don't Okay, so wow. if we think in Epsilon style, they're going for a, a, a Admirable right now. Seriously, they have to go for Admirable, and that's what Epsilon does, that's what they do all the time, and maybe Numlock's gonna save himself and just walk out. I'm not sure where Numlock exactly is, uh, but it looks like he dis does not get taken down, did not get the... Uh, he did actually get forced on Admirable, wow! He actually managed it, that's pretty sick. Wow, that was just amazing. The, the spy chat... on Tafik was spot on. You, you can't see the chat, but Nox was saying apparently he checked and checked and checked about five times. Check. Apparently he checked for five times, but I don't call <laughs> flashing your root, your medigun. Oh, no, no, it's a scout! You've got a show oh, my god! Scout, oh, the shocky, hides behind one of the most weird, stupidest places ever. No one looks left to look for shocky, and they just get admirable. That is poor. Wow. So, I mean, that's bad. So surely that must mean Nox is off the hook now. Well... No. Okay. No one's off the hook when Vanilla TV is casting, Scully. You should note it. No, of course, yeah. <laughs> this is, um, Epsilon, again, uh, this is the second half of the game, and, and Epsilon always just seemed to be better, and apparently better is let's play a spy on to last when we don't need it. Um, Sniper does come out now for Sam, actually, but obviously against the Uber, there's not really a lot a spy can do. Nomlock does get the get the nade in, but the flash did not work out. Nox getting caught with his pants down is going to get... Wow, actually, the <laughs> Sniper <laughs> takes <laughs> him down. <laughs> and knowing Epsilon, Admiral's down, but knowing Epsilon, they're still going to go in, because that's just kind of what they do. Um, is they exchange not, as much um, as they can. But, but they didn't notice the door open when Walters went through disguise. Now they've noticed him, but they didn't even notice the door open when he walked through. Yeah. That, that, that's just a sign, really, of the flank being really not looked after by, by Crack Clan. And that's almost like the difference, really. The flank is the, it probably the difference between Crack Clan and Epsilon. I'll be honest with you right now. Epsilon's playing great play. I mean, yeah, Shocky takes down Admirable. Uh, that's just really it. That's really what it is, though, because they just can't hold on because of the flank. The flanks are going down. That is my phone. Wow. Red Shock and Crack t TV does take down a couple right there. Seriously, Scully, how much have we seen this? This is just... This is Epsilon getting the Ubers out of the way and just fighting. And even though they're losing right now, because Crackland is just closer to spawn, there's there's really not much to Crits. analyze there, but... And my um, Crits. Yeah, well, it's, this is a way how you can deal with that. This is how you can deal with Epsilon being like... Because I can guarantee you right now, as soon as everyone from Epsilon is alive, and apparently they're running Shocky Pyro at gear heavy, and Walter Sniper, um, I can I guarantee you, with, within like 10 seconds, they're knocking on Crackland's door again. And you know what, this time around, Aberboss crits, it's free crits, basically, during that push. And this is just what, this is kind of what Epsilon does, is they just push all the, see, here they go again. This is just what they do. They suicide in, they push in as much as possible, even without Ubers. And now the crits is ready, now the crits get knocked off, immediately Numlock has to, has to, has to go down there. Mike goes down, oh. and it looks like the Reflect from Shocky comes in, but he will actually... It comes the Heavy though, not those, the, the Heavy finally comes out at the last moment. That Heavy is almost like, like some horror movie, just comes out of yeah, nowhere. Yeah. And they're actually leaving the Heavy for Nox to go down, jump down, oh my god. Not Nox is wasting a jump down. Nox is wasting a jump down. Here we go, medical, medical action, and Nox <laughs> takes down Admirable. Nox! Come on, Nox. Jolly, he's not going to take down. He's not going to take down. No way. He's going for a backup, is he? Is he going for help? No, he's going no. back in. No, no. He wants red shot. He wants red shot. Red shot with a bottle. Nox is oh, taking down from Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. Oh, Sam, Sam ruins it. Sam ruins medic action there. Nox is one of those crazy men when it comes to using when playing a medic, though. What was it last year? What was it in season 12? He actually won Nox. the round yeah, by, uh, by capping himself. I, that was <laughs> pretty insane, actually. As uh, Nox was trying to do his best, he actually survived for quite a long time, but in the end did get taken down. And the big question is, to me at least, is Admirable Crits? You know, he going back to Medigo. This is mind games from the highest, from the highest level, really, as uh, we Irish, can see. Irish, man. 
Uh, maybe she's drunk. <laughs> That's what it's that way then. No comment to that one. What they need to realise right now if it's it's no <laughs> minutes and they're two down. They're playing for a draw, playing for a golden cup. That's what they're gonna play for right now. And they're playing really defensively despite they've got an Uber advantage. Shockey goes down for them though, and they've not noticed a scout. There's a scout and soldier behind again. The flank exposed again. Look, gear! Gear was that that's gear and Walter is behind them. Yeah. Again! Because the flank is being exposed. And now comes the Uber off. The Uber's been used, and they are going to take down Gear. They're not taking down Walters yet. Where is Walters? No, he's on the Walters. point. He's on the point. No, he's, he's, sit, he's No, he's literally right next to the point. Yeah, now he's comes waiting. The demo. God! Oh, Red Shark actually did manage to get taken back. And I, I like this player, what Crackland did, actually. Send two scouts forward, leave your Devilman behind. I quite enjoy that. I think you get more cap timing. Your Devilman is the quickest back to middle. I think that's actually really good. Um, well, a lot of teams are actually just keeping that demo with your medic at all points in time. And look at that. Crackland, they're too scared. They're not pushing through. They're playing it safe. If this was Epsilon, they'd be in the faces of the other team right now. But it looks like Crackland playing it safe, getting rid of their stickies, now pushing forward. Forwards. They're playing it very methodically. Oh my God. This is what happens when you play it methodically. You leave the sniper for a good shot, and he takes that admirable. Sniper, it was basically Shockey in the spawn, in the resupply. Yeah, basically yeah. just using that pick, and is he, he's moved away back to make Bournemouth. Wow. Was that, that's two medic drops from body shots tonight. <laughs> poor, poor sniping play. God, who, who, who does that? Who does body shots on a medic? It's okay, we saw enough headshots. Yeah, I guess. Anyway... Crackline can hold, surely Crackline can cap this point. And then they can't cap this point because Nox has got full Uber and all they can do right now is make Nox pop. And they think that's what they want to go in for. They're not going in for that, they're going to hold back. And surely, Admirable, you've got to look at crits so you don't look at crits. Admirable well, not the type of person to go crit screen. <laughs> no, I guess not, but he's been doing it quite a bit actually as Tafik goes down there on the back and uh, Epsilon knocking on the Crackland door at the moment here. They're, they're looking to pick up this middle. They're going to go up top. Very safe way. Medic's very hard to catch if he goes up top, especially by Roamers. You can probably see Ips trying. Take a look uh, at flying blue soldiers here in about 3.2 seconds as uh, nothing's happening so far. I'm actually quite surprised that Ips is not around. Tafik's bike. Where is he? Ips, where are you? Where's t -Bix? Right, t going straight in. I'm just going to watch with t -Bix. Surely, now, if he gets another backstab, this is insane. I'm actually blind. Oh, there's Ips. There we go. I was still looking sorry, for Sorry, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I was looking for t -Bix. He gets spotted. I was just keeping my eye on the spy play. Nothing happened with the spy players. Epsilon are now going to walk straight back into their point. They've taken down the threat that is t -Bix. And they're now going to just look to go pushing. But Admirable does have fully charged Uber. And here comes the Uber straight in from Epsilon. They're going to take down Minimo straight away with the aggression. Crackline only used one Uber, uh, only one person for the Uber, now he flashes, there's a scout around him, the scout goes down. They do have the advantage, maybe three versus four, but they do have the advantage. Numlock's gonna go aggressive now. This is Numlock's player right Shout now, gonna walk in. See? Uh, there they come. Scully, I'm not quite sure if they have the manpower, but it looks like Epsilon's gonna push through here. Mike, only 19 HP, actually did manage to survive that. And Epsilon picking off players left and right. Numlock goes down, but not before Red Shock actually did manage to get shot down by Numblogs. I cannot believe these Devilmen are just fighting it out time after time again. And Epsilon just managing to push their way through. Through a Z with an enemy Devilman up, it's very difficult to do, but they managed to just be so aggressive that Crackland did not expect it. They did manage to work their way through. Now going up top again, classic Epsilon style. And they're gonna work their way... Uh, yeah, barely, okay. Here right now, Uber, top push comes off and Admirable doesn't have it yet. Admirable's only got N90%, but they're too busy trying to clear up people. They've only got two kills right now. Admirable's on 95. He's got to fight someone with the hill right now, and he's found someone. He's 98 with 45. He does make the pop as well, so they have got the pop point right now. Everybody is low right now. All I see is flashing reds on my HUD. And they're going to take this up right now. Minimus takes a couple. TV takes a couple. There is sound getting one as well. They do pick this up from just the really just waiting, waiting, waiting. Really great patience right now. They have got Shocky on the other side. Nox goes down. Shocky's still alive. Are they going to take down Shocky? Are they going to take down Shocky? Finally gets taken down. Surely now they're going to move on to this point. Though there are two spawners already up and another two coming. Yeah, very well played actually there by Crackland. Very solid, very safe, very methodically managing to make their way. And this is Epsilon. Like, they do this. They lose players here where they don't have to, but they know how strong they are. Nine out of ten scenarios to actually manage to make this work, but it's not going to happen. It might be 100% a pure stalling technique though, Scully. We have to keep that in mind. As the clock is running down, is Shocky going to die? No, he is not. It's 12 HP running the hell out of there.
And we can see four minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Still two caps for Kakla to take. They need to manage to make this work. And it's going to be very, very, very difficult. As Epsilon is making their way through. They're coming in. And one scout actually blocking that point and forcing Uber. Great play by Shockey. Second scout now coming in. Completely useful. Walters versus two. Gets one. Is he going to be able to get two? No, he does not. If the soldier Ips comes out to help. And that point is not going to get blocked. And Epsilon losing players now. It seems like they're a little bit unfocused at this moment in time. It's now crack Clan is just going to be able to push through here. Uh, loads of players dying from Epsilon. It actually knocks. 86% seems to be fine. But if right now Crackland pushes, if they block those doors, I don't think Epsilon can actually hold on to this. They only, have two, they only have two players though, Scully. They've got two players, but two are now about to come over here. It's a scout and a soul. Point is now uncovered. They're going to get the point now up. They're going to, sign, they're going to spam the point. Do get the point. And that is just a numbers game. That is three what we call the numbers game. It's 2-3. Three, three, 30 seconds remaining. 3 minutes, 30 seconds remaining. One cap is all it is right now. This mid is basically going to decide the... Well, it's not going to decide the game because we know how back and forth this map is. This is going to decide something massive, though. <laughs> it's very important. Let's put it that way. That's, uh, the middle is going to come off. Sixth middle, Scully. Anything can happen, but so far we've seen the middles are pretty much spot on even. One time the one team gets it, the other time the other does, and it looks like no Red Shark's not going to get assassinated this time around. He's getting pressure, but so is Noblo. No, and Marble's going to get assassinated. He might know he does get taken down. Sorry, I was going to say, Marble's getting focused, and he does get focused finally. Three versus two. Crackline need to stay in them. They need to stay in this time, but they're losing numbers. It's just Tivik up left. Tivik can't do anything. I think he's behind them, you know? Where is he? I, I can't find him right now. He's got Walters looking at him right now. 49 health. They need to pick this up fast. They need to regroup and go for the push. They cannot hold back now. Uh, they lose They lose Tivik. So now that's going to be Walters pushing him straight to the second point afterwards. And that is... Well, I don't want to say GG right yet because it's not GG because we know what this map is. Surely that will be Walters standing on to that point yet. No, because they are holding. But Crack Clan need to go now. 220 left. They need to hold this. This is pretty much, um, well, uh, it's going to be very difficult, but Crackland realized they have to go. It's kind of what they did at the end of Gully Washers, realizing we have to. If we don't go, we lose. If we do go, we might still lose, but it doesn't matter. Let's keep on going as much as we possibly can. That's exactly what Crackland is doing, but that's the game Epsilon would love them to play because it's their game. That's exactly what they love to do. And uh, let's go and wait and see here as uh, Crack Clan, they are going to make their way through, but Crack Screen comes out, actually, I did not spot that whatsoever, as Nomalok taking down Mini Moose here, but we can see that uh, actually Crack Clan did manage to drop out of there barely in time, it's going to be a 6 versus 4 scenario, but it's going to be Uber versus no Uber, and a double scout Uber can actually pull Havoc all across the Epsilon players, it's exactly what's going to happen, but just one pick on Nomalok, not enough, they need one or two more, there comes the second, is there going to be a third, it looks like, yes, there is going to be a third, it is... Uh, the scout aim is off, Scully. This is my scout aim, isn't it? My god, this is definitely looking like my scout aim right now. <laughs> and they are they're having to force him out. Basically, Epsilon just need to realize they're just going to stay back a little bit because they could probably win this if they just play defensive. That's really weird to see Epsilon Crits. play defensive, but they've Crits. held this and is it still Crits, is it? Because he's yes. not dying, it's still Crits Creek. Oh my god. This is it. It's one minute left. It's roll the dice time. For anyone saying you can't do this, you can do this in one minute. But it's going to be massive undertaking. Is here come Numlock. For a couple, couple stickies there. Surely they're not going to use the uh, Chris yet. Surely he's going to the call to pop it now. Takes down Sam. He's going to take another one down. He takes down Mini Moose. He's going to go for one more. Does not take one more. He's going to stick to the pipes. Fires two pot scripts, but no, the crit pipes. Do not take down a marble though. But they do have second. This is going to be the nail in the coffin right now. And Admirable gets one Uber Sword. Is he going to get another Uber Sword? No, he does not. <laughs> Tivik's the only one. Only one. And Numlock just goes on a rampage. G -G. And he's going to walk straight to the last. G -G. And Epsilon. Epsilon, since I-46, since the new formation of Epsilon, have yet to lose an official map. Every not a game, single a map. A map, ladies and gentlemen. It hasn't happened yet. And it's not going to happen today as Epsilon is going to put the nail in the coffin. 4 to 2 is going to be the official scoreline as we thought this game could be closer. But it's going to be 4 to 2. And it looks like you were a little bit more right than me uh, with the 5 3 against 5 2. But it seems 
This is perfectly fine as Epsilon is going to win the Esports Heaven Matt Katz Team Fortress 2 Challenge, which is one hell of a thing to say when I managed to get it out properly. But congratulations to them, and thanks very much to Matt Katz for sponsoring. We have been Vanilla TV. We've been covering this game uh, from start to finish. We hope you enjoyed it, and this is pretty much going to be it. Congratulations to Epsilon. Too bad for Crack Clan. And we're going to see them all back in the new year. I'm guessing the ETF 12 Sixth Cup is the only thing that's running at the moment. And furthermore, we have some Highlander and some other games, but the pretty much the season is over. Um, the good games are going to start again in January, hopefully. So we will be back at that moment in time. And in the meantime, obviously in December, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have pretty much coverage of anything that is somewhat relevant. So keep your eyes out on this Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash vanilla TV. That is it for us here, ladies and gentlemen, from Pledge and Scully and from Comedian on the Stream. Follow us on Twitter, by the way. Have a very good night and enjoy your December.